Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Gala. So Gala has likely um, started this B wave pullback that we have here on the chart on this uh, roadmap to overall higher prices still. A uh, quick reminder on the Gala chart, it is not a high quality chart. This is for me a crystal clear ABC structure to the upside, which probably isn't going to get one more high. But bear in mind that the um, C wave, I mean, this is this was the target area, right, in white, which was reached. So it basically could have given us one more high. At the moment, I don't think it will because it broke micro support. But it opens the door then to this B wave pullback, which we are going to talk about in this video. So where are we on this chart? I see this move up as a wave two corrective rally. And a wave two is an ABC structure, which leaves us with two options. Either this ABC structure here is basically complete and completed the wave two, and we're heading to new bear market lows. I have to say that I don't believe it because we're in a bullish market at the moment. Now that can change, but it's an ABC structure and that can complete this wave too. However, my view is and was that as long as we are in a bullish market, I focus on higher prices. But as soon as we reach obviously here this target area for this C wave to the upside, yeah, after we had this um, one second A wave yeah, and the B wave pullback, and the C wave here to the upside, yeah, has reached that ideal area. Normally a C wave reaches either the 100% extension that was at 5.8 cents, the 1.236 or the 1.38. A 1.618 is already extended. It didn't even get there. So the 1.38 was sort of one of the ideal targets for the C wave. That means an ABC structure can be complete. We're going to zoom in in a minute. But just wanted to share with you that either this completed all of wave two and we would get that deep pullback, possibly even new bear market lows. Again, that's not at the moment the preferred scenario. Preferred is that we are with this ABC forming a larger A wave. But we talked about that in previous videos. Shouldn't be a surprise. Then we were watching for a B wave pullback, yeah, which we are going to add a support area for now. And then the C wave to the upside would be next. So whenever we reach a target area for a move, which is based on Fibonacci levels, we have to be very much on the side of caution and prepare for that pullback that would follow. Yeah? A lot of people have been waiting for pullbacks. And now if we add a support area, then it would mean that most likely if this is the B wave already, this ABC structure here to the upside, if that's complete, it would be corrected. So the entire move will be corrected. That's the assumption at the moment. And therefore we can add a support zone to the chart. Wave for orange. So, no, we're not wave for one second. Um, so this would be the standard support zone for a B wave pullback. Be aware that B waves can be very chameleon-like very difficult to track. So it's between 1.9 cents and 4.2 cents. Okay, so over the recent months, we've been watching for the price to reach um, at least here that um, 38.2 retracement level at 6.2 cents. So it did get there and it needs, however, to climb higher in a larger ABC structure, this B wave in between. So that could be an opportunity for those who have been waiting for pullbacks and who've been looking for... Um, yeah, pullback entries. So if we zoom in a little bit, um, again, quick reminder here that this microstructure is unreliable. So I mentioned that many times that, yeah, I don't really have a very good read of this microstructure. So more important than the microstructure are the actual levels they, the microstructure provides. First um, evidence that this B wave pullback has started was a break here below 5.9 cents. So what we will do, we will mark that as complete. I still don't have a very good read of the microstructure there, but would have to assume that this was probably in the C wave then, um, an ending diagonal. So the sub waves yeah, did reach only three waves in each structure. So ABC in wave one, ABC in wave three, and the clear ABC in wave five. 
The others are just not so clear. But that's why I always warned um, microstructure is unclear, right? So um, best is to focus on the FIP levels in this case. That can be more helpful when we're dealing with corrective structures. That's why I'm also adding here for you this support region. 4.2 cents should be the first main support level. Let's see if we even get there. Uh, that's the 38.2 FIP um, and a relevant level, yeah, also for a B wave. I mean, they can be extremely shallow, these B waves. But uh, that's the first level. Then we've got 3.3 and 2.6 cents. And as long as we're holding above 1.9, I can keep the idea alive that a C wave rally to the upside is, um, you know, is, is sort of on the radar and um, can, can unfold. That's at the moment my update about Gala. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.